it's crazy fan guys shy we hope you guys are having an amazing day so today oh my god guys it's the finale of andor episode 12 rick's road now oh my god guys we've all been waiting for this this has been so exciting such an incredible show um and we are here with the finale a season finale um episode 12 and I've been so psyched for this and I've been praying that I was feeling better for this episode because I wanted to be full of energy. Thankfully I am. Thank you all for your well wishes as well. Oh my god guys. <laughs> this series has surprised I think everybody. This show is incredible. The themes that are being spoken about is not like spoken about often in shows, especially in the Star Wars show. Um, it's all about war, fascism, and fighting what is wrong, and also like exploring the gray areas of morals and morale or whatever you say it. And it's just so good to be seeing this in like this show like I'm so proud of all the showrunners Tony Gilroy thank you for even like bringing this to us obviously Diego Luna and everybody else who was involved but oh my god we are here so obviously as usual we did mid-season finale I looked pretty cool then but I had to go all out so let's see the outfit I bought like this top um inspired by Mon Mothma and her style as I said I wanted someone to look like get nice style so I got this it was the closest thing I could get <laughs> and I feel very like Mon Mothma like very higher up very like mm. um and I, I was work I literally finished work like half an hour ago so I rushed it so I apologize if my makeup isn't as good as usual but oh we are here and we're ready to celebrate this oh my god so without further ado guys let's jump straight into this because you know the usual like comment subscribe let's just jump into this guys because I'm so excited oh no Oof, the tension's already back. It's literally him just building something and I'm terrified. I don't like this guy. He's trying to loosen his tongue. Don't fall for it, my dude! Ooh, what's he building? Oh. I wonder what that is. Ah! She looks so good! Oh my god! What a queen! You're gambling again. Oh. Nonsense. And here, in Coruscant. That's ridiculous. Do you have any idea how tired of this I am? It's a lie. It's total fantasy. Who's telling you this? Oh, he's listening, the little snake. His boss showed up tonight. Good to see you too. <laughs> An ISB supervisor came in to meet a woman. Yeah, Val isn't very, again, now, keen. No ways... <gasps> He's back! My baby! Oh, is that where they buried her? Well, He's she became one of the, the man bricks. Not it's oh no, it's his wall, I think, is it? Just Maybe. Oh. oh, Diego Luna, like his expressions, so good. Oh, be careful. Oh no, yeah, he doesn't know. The manifesto. I knew it would come in this episode. Moments of defiance will have flooded the banks of the empire's. Oh, what a shot! Oh my god. Is she more angry about lying or the possibility of gambling things? Hard to say. Mon Mothma is a great interest here. Having her husband dig a hole for himself could be helpful in many ways. He is a snitch! Wanna punch him? Oh! I love him more than anything you could ever do wrong. Oh. oh 
Oh my god. God, it's so heartbreaking. Oh god! These two. Good. They'll do the hunting for us. They'll want him alive, they'll find him, and we'll kill him. Where will they take him? Oh, she doesn't want to kill him, I think. Why show force? That's so weird. Hmm. Immediately recognized him. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, you little. The little snitch! I hope Sinter or someone punches him in the face or puts him out of his misery. Just go Grucies, what's going on? Oh, what's he doing? Oh I was always eager, always waiting to be inspired. I remember every time it happened, every time the dead lifted me with their truth. The dead lifted me with their truth. My god. Oh, she w This is the first time she's hearing! The Empire is a disease that thrives in darkness. It is never more alive than when we sleep. If I could do it again, I'd wake up early and be fighting these bastards. Yes! <laughs> No! Go! Oh my god! There goes my makeup, but screw it! Oh, she's been so affected by it. She's like brainwashed. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! That was so cool, but oh my god. Oh yeah, we're Sinta! Oh, what a shot, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god! No, they're gonna shoot that guy. Oh my god! No! No, 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 no! Please, no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Sinta's going for him. Kill him. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god! Yes, Queen! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Do not kill him! Yes, my dude! Yes! Oh my god! She's in full panic. Is it Cassian? Oh. Oh, he's not. The moment you get over the water, you climb. Straight home, full pump, hand throttle, no cops. All in. You understand? Yeah. That's the captain we know. Oh. oh. 
always say that. And you always come through. <laughs> Cause you find them. Oh my god. I will. Will he though? That'll be interesting. <gasps> oh my god, they're actually doing it! Oh my god. Uh oh. Is Cassian there? Yay! No, Cassian! I, I know he does not, but still. Kill me. Or take me in. Oh my god! Oh, he's taking him in, man! <laughs> Wait, they said that there might be like a post card. Oh, there is! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> it, yes, it was! It's for the fucking Death Star! It's for the fucking Death Star! Oh my god! Holy ho oh, ho oh, oh, oh my god What a fucking shot Oh my god <laughs> Oh my god Jesus oh. Guys oh my god I really loved that episode again with these episodes that sort of come in threes or twos, they, they're so tense. And Tony Gilroy and obviously the director, Benjamin, did such an incredible job of keeping that tense tone that we've seen throughout this whole season when it's needed. And just, yeah, we did see everything sort of come, like I said, they came together. So like Deidre, Cyril, Cassian, everybody was there. Luthen, Bix, yeah, just everything came together in one nice package. And it pulled off a really good final episode of the season. I thought it was really, really good. And they really did focus on every single part of what was coming into this episode too. And also the core of it, which is the spark of the rebellion. And oh, my dream came true from last week where I wanted to see Fiona Shaw one last time. Tara, the gods listen to me. <laughs> and then also, I love that we had, like, the night before the funeral, we had Nemec's manifesto. That was beautiful, and I loved listening to it. And even he was saying, like, there's always, like, there's one, like, final push before the rebellion starts, and um, then there's always a big event that comes from the rebellion that often leads to the downfall of an empire, and it's just... Oh, beautiful writing because it just reminded me so much of Rogue One and just like how that was a stepping stone for the downfall of the Empire. Just, oh, just so good. And just, yeah, the acting, my god, so good. Diego Luna, the way he carried himself in this episode too, emotionally, like you can feel the grief he's feeling. Like he's, it's built up inside him. He's not necessarily like crying or doing anything like that, but it's more emotionally, just you can see it in his actions. Just, oh my God. Especially when he goes to see um, Clem's um, wall, his stone and like touches it. And he's like, he's, oh my God, his expression is so good. Just like his act acting ability. I hope he gets nominated for an Emmy or something. Like, oh. I hope he gets nominated for something because it's just, he's so good at what he does and he deserves the recognition for it. So does the rest of the cast as well. But yeah, just even the moments where he's like embracing someone, where he's just talking to them and like catching up with them and talking about Marva, just you can feel the, the emotion and the weight behind all his words. Just and just, yeah, I gotta go back to Fiona Shaw's speech. Just, like, again, like, th that moment, as, as so many moments in this sh show has done for me, it just brought back so many moments in history, so many moments in my culture as well, and it just, 
it made me emotional. And especially just in general, like, whether it's, like, LGBT stuff, cultural, like, wars or rebellions, all that stuff, the fight for what is good and for what might be right and the freedom for people, it just, it makes me very emotional. <laughs> and just, yeah, they did it so well. Um, and just, yeah, it was beautifully done, beautifully handled, and just, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I think we all knew with Mod Mothma's situation that as heartbreaking as it has been these past two episodes to see her the way that she has been, she, I feel like now she's sort of starting to disconnect from her family a lot. Now the emotional bonds are sort of breaking, so like, I think she's getting ready to prepare herself for this rebellion. And in this moment where it's that final shot, and it's so... I don't know, there was something about that shot that was beautiful but also haunting because it's like, in a way, like, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but just the daughter just like looking back at Mon Mothma and then looking back into her, in a way, into her future. Like, even I was thinking about it last week and people were talking about it too, like, Mon Mothma, the reason why she's in so much pain, the reason why she hates doing this is because she doesn't want her daughter to go through the exact same experiences that she did as a young child, um bride and also just every the politics of it all and just ugh, the like just everything to do with it is wrong and yet here we are and just it's heartbreaking and i feel bad for mon mothma but she's preparing herself and even like with that now that final part with um cassian and luthan I, oh, I, 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 for a second, even though we know what happens, like, for people who have watched Rogue One, we know what happens, but just in that moment where, he, like, he was like, kill me, I was like, no! <laughs> I was just like, no, please don't. I really like you, Cassian. Please don't die again. And we were right about those stupid freaking parts that he was building in that prison. It is for the bloody Death Star. So, and the Death Star's nearly finished too, so... There you go. <laughs> like, oh, I love the way that they filmed that part with the Death Star too, because it was just like, oh, mm, mm, it was perfection. It was so good. And just, why? <laughs> they knew that we knew. And they were just like, we're going to rub it in your face that this is coming. Like, this part is coming down the line. It's just like, oh, screw you guys. But also, oof, it's so good. <laughs> now, I'm going to do a review of the whole show, I guess, here and now absolutely fantastic this and you guys know i'm a big fan of mandalorian i'm so sorry to, <laughs> to pedro pascal <laughs> i mean maybe next season will be good for, see, uh, pe um, for mandalorian but we'll see anyway this show holy fuck like this has made me feel and made me think in ways that i never thought i'd think about a show or a star wars show and this is exactly everything i wanted from a star wars show because you know we always talk about the rebellion the fight the empire and how terrible and cruel they are but we don't get to see that too often whether it's in the cartoons whether it's in the movies or other shows we don't see it that much and it's just like oh okay cool it's just the usual stuff but this went to a completely different level and it's so good. It was just so... It felt like... It just felt like... And I know this will sound weird for me. Because, like, you know... I love Darth Vader. I love Anakin. I love the whole Skywalker stuff. But, I don't know. This was so refreshing. So new. And covering a lot of topics that I'm personally interested to. So, that's why I like with Star Wars. It is about war. It is political. I am a very political person. And I was so proud because it was pushing it to limits that I never thought a Star Wars show would do, or any show. And just, as someone who is, my parents are immigrants, I am from immigrant parents, and just like, knowing the background of what they went through, my parent basically my mum fled the country, Sri Lanka, when it was in war. My dad was lucky enough to come earlier, but like, to, to have that sort of subject and spoken about in a show, like, fighting for what is right and fighting for your freedom and fighting for your life it means so much and I think a lot of people agree with me too on the internet when they say this means so much because we know the fight we know the struggle and even like I've had <laughs> I've had a few tussles on Twitter and Tumblr about this subject and even the show because it's so important to me and when they say oh this show is boring I can't relate to that I'm literally just blatantly like 
you don't understand because you haven't been in these shoes. You can't relate to it because you've been safe. You can't relate to it because perhaps you've never faced the police because of your colour or the way that you look. Maybe you've never faced an empire that's bared down on you just because you're different. There you go! I've said it! <laughs> and I've said it on Twitter and Tumblr so many times in the past how many- 12 weeks that we've had this show. Because this show is, again, fantastic, so good, and again, it makes me proud to be from the heritage that I'm from, and just, yeah, just the fight. I understand it, so it's just like, it's so important. Sorry to get political and deep, but just, it, honestly, it means the world that this is being talked about for me. And just, I, I I can't speak for everyone, but I have seen on Twitter and everywhere that a lot of people are very happy about this and just, I'm proud to be a Star Wars fan, proud to be who I am because I can relate to it so much. <laughs> I'm getting really deep, I'm sorry. Anyway, going back to this show, oh, going back to the amazing show that this was, or this season, I shouldn't say it because we still have one more season, um, even though it makes me sad that we only have one. I wish we had like five more because I could watch this to the end of time, honestly. But seeing the growth for Cassian, this is something that I was worried about. This is something that everybody was worried about. It was just like, how is this going to work? And they pulled it off so beautifully from the beginning where it's this sort of, I guess, a little bit arrogant guy who, you know, takes advantage of people, you know, takes their money, uses it, and then disappears. And then obviously, like, you know, he's looking for his sister and stuff. But then the true fight for rebellion starts. And it's just beautiful. I loved it. And just, I think it's such a beautiful story about a man who realizes that he has to leave his past behind. He can he can't let it define him, but he can carry the weight of the importance of family, the loss of his family, his true parents, his sister, but even Marva and Clem, and then he can move forward with his hopes for a better future. And I feel like that was that resonated throughout the whole entire show. Especially because and a lot of people have been talking about this. Cassian may not necessarily be the leader who pushes like himself to be the leader of a cause, but he inspires people to be leaders, to take the next step, to be a part of something greater that may be greater for themselves and others. And it's just... Diego Luna pulled that so beautifully off and just, yeah... It was just, it was a fantastic show and a fantastic ride to be a part of. And just, yeah, it was so good. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the final episode for season one of Andor. Absolutely loved this show and just everything that we got was just so fantastic. And I, yeah, it's just... Thank you. Like, I, I know that they aren't going to see this. Like, Diego Luna, Tony Gilroy, none of them are going to see this. But thank you so much for doing this because it means the world. Um, to me, like, I got to calm down. But just for me, it means the world. And just seeing these stories and these sort of writing being told on screen means so much to me. And yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, leave your comments below because I want to hear what everybody thinks because I know a lot of people who have been watching in the comments and even online uh, elsewhere who's commented on the reaction have had a great experience with the show. So leave it down in the comments. Tell me what you think about it. I loved the show. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on what you think is going to happen next season because obviously it's going to be a continuation and it's going to be in the lead up to Rogue One. So... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to finish it here. Thank you guys so much for watching this reaction, this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, Fangirl, out. Woo!